Now at 6.30 on WKYT This Morning, police right now investigating a pair of overnight shootings in Lexington where bullets were fired right into two homes. A Lexington murder suspect is headed to court today for the first time since a last month's deadly shooting. And hundreds of people across the bluegrass may have to dodge storms again today as they clean up the damage caused by last night's storms. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning. We're glad you're with us on WKYT here on this Wednesday, the calm after the storms and maybe before some more of those. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. I always know that something's happened when my cable box is not working correctly the next day. I yeah. Know, huh? There was uh, right. some storms. There was an issue, right? Yeah. Uh, we have the Knox County School System that's closed today. That's apparently because of flooding. Uh, there were some uh, tough rains that moved through that area. And maybe here we go again. Yeah. Tell us about it, Micah. Well, a few of us yesterday were actually under that severe thunderstorm warnings and also tore Tornado warnings uh, for quite some time. However, Lexington was never put in one. Now, with that said, we still had tremendous amounts of lightning within that. We, at one moment, we actually had a few thousand strikes of lightning with that storm rolling through Lexington. That's why power was out for a lot of us yesterday in some zones in Lexington. We do have a dense fog advisory in effect for the east and southeastern zones until 10 a.m. Keep that in mind as you're traveling this morning. Day part planner. Calm, very, very nice start to the day at 55 degrees. We hit noon. Look at that 70 degrees, a 15 degree swing just in four hours. That means something's on the way. 79 by the afternoon, more storms, potentially strong to severe storms. Now, I'll jot down the latest forecast and also get into details hour by hour coming up in about 10 minutes. Okay, we'll see you then. Thank you. Well, we are continuing to have a wet start to spring. Another big storm, of course, hit us yesterday. That's just days after part of our area got record rainfall. Yeah, back last Friday was really rough. Well, the National Weather Service is now heading to Madison County this morning to survey the damage there, try to determine, you know, was it a tornado? Was it a wall of wind? What happened there? WKYT's Hillary Thornton is at our live desk with reaction from some who have damage from last night's storm. Good morning. Good morning, Bill and Rebecca. Many in Madison County will continue cleaning up today after that strong storm ripped through the area yesterday. They say the storm did not last long, but it was long enough to leave behind a path of destruction. We received several pictures and videos from the Kingston and Brassfield areas, and some there who experienced the storm say they saw a funnel cloud as it went over their homes. Neighbors in the Rainbow Ridge community say this storm was strong enough to cause significant damage to their homes and even blow a large shed across to another yard. Blowed the storm door off my house, blowed four columns off the front of my house, and uh, all the underneath the porch is gone and uh, blowed probably 30 or 40 percent of my shutters off. Now, this storm also dumped heavy rain, like Bill and Rebecca were just talking about, which caused water damage to many homes and flooded several streets there. The National Weather Service will be in Madison County this morning at 9 o'clock to survey that damage. At the live desk, Hillary Thornton, back to you. All right, thanks, Hillary. The storms that moved through the bluegrass also packed lots of lightning. Take a look at this video we shot out of Scott County. You can see some lightning strikes from a storm that passed through Georgetown. We checked with Scott County emergency leaders. They did not have any reports of major storm damage. Now, Lexington was mostly spared from last night's storm, but Kentucky Utilities does report 19,000 customers were without power at one point. Power has since been restored. And Lexington police say the storm also knocked out traffic signals. Signals along Versailles Road and Broadway. That issue has also been fixed this morning. Now, many of you shared your eyewitness pictures with us from the storms. Sherry shared a picture taken along Highway 27 in Garrett County. An amazing view. Hail covered the road. It looked like a snowy day. And Jacob sent us another picture. This is from Winchester. He says part of his backyard flooded out because of the heavy rain. If you have storm pictures or information, you can share that with us on our Facebook page or look for the the eyewitness tab at WKYT.com. A Lexington murder suspect will face a judge today for the first time since a deadly shooting. 21 year old Dustin Yost of Winchester is charged with the murder of 20 year old Vondre Smithers. Lexington police say Smithers' body was dumped onto Belafonte Drive last month. Yost was already in jail when police charged him with murder. He'll be arraigned this afternoon. 
New this morning, a fugitive is in jail after a high-speed chase that went right through downtown Lexington and into the south side of the city. State police say it started when a trooper tried to pull over a Mitsubishi on Main Street. The driver then took off, and the trooper chased after him. That chase finally ended at Pegasus Place Apartments on Larkin Road near Nicholasville Road. State police arrested 19-year-old Eddie Perez, who was wanted out of Texas. New this morning, police are investigating two overnight shootings in Lexington. In both cases, shots were fired into homes. One scene is on Winterberry Drive near Beaumont Middle School. The other is on Atokid Park near Tates Creek High School. WKYT's Mark Barber is tracking the investigations for us live from police headquarters. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Rebecca. Police do not think that these cases are related. However, they tell us there are similarities. Both homes were hit just about 45 minutes apart, and they are both by schools. Now, investigators tell us that the first home was shot around 11:30 last night. Officers say two people were fighting outside of a home on Winterberry Drive when shots were fired. We're told the bullet flew into a house and sent sheetrock raining down on a woman's face. Officers say, fortunately, she was not hurt. Police say the second home was hit about 45 minutes later on the 1200 block of Attikid Park. According to investigators, several shots were fired into a window and a door of the home. We're told no one was inside. That home sits about half a mile from Tates Creek High School. The home on Winterberry Drive is just a couple blocks from Beaumont Middle School. A man who lives nearby says he did not realize what had happened until police showed up. I heard yelling. It sounded like arguing over something and I couldn't make out exactly what they were arguing over and then I heard a car leave and I just kind of continued about my business went home like I said got in bed and then I heard the shots and then I heard tires squeal and that was it. Now investigators say they do not have a description of a vehicle or of suspects because they still do not know who fired the shots into the two homes. Live in Lexington, Mark Barber, WKYT. All right, Mark, thank you very much. And new on WKYT this morning, just coming in, one person is dead after an early morning crash in Johnson County. Officials with WR Castle Fire and Rescue say the accident happened about 3.30 this morning. They say a coal truck and an SUV crashed on US 23 near Paintsville. The driver of the SUV was pronounced dead at the scene. US 23 is currently shut down in both directions. In Lexington, the Urban County Council is reviewing Mayor Jim Gray's newly proposed budget. The mayor is predicting city revenues will be around $324 million, up more than 3% from last year. Gray wants to use that money to hire 10 new police officers, to buy police body cameras, and to improve Lexington's internet speeds. His budget also includes $22 million to renovate the old Fayette County Courthouse, as well as 3% raises for most city workers. And he has set aside money to explore the possibility of building a new government center. You can see Mayor Gray's entire budget announcement on WKYT.com. Well, Kentucky's lieutenant governor, candidate Sani Overly, a Democrat, is asking that her testimony in a sexual harassment case be sealed. An attorney told the Lexington Herald leader he wants to ask the Democratic state representative from Paris about any sexual harassment she may have experienced in the legislature. The attorney represents two women who have filed a sexual harassment lawsuit against former state representative John Arnold of Sturgis. Overly is the running mate of Democrat Jack Conway, who is seeking the Democratic nomination for governor in May's primary. Well, a former Fayette County school superintendent has been diagnosed with a rare kidney disease. The Herald Leader reports Stu Silberman will retire in the fall as the executive director of the Pritchard Committee for Academic Excellence. Silberman served as superintendent for Fayette County Schools from 2004 to 2011. The paper reports he will eventually need a kidney transplant. Hmm. Well, we wish him the best, certainly. Uh, 6.39 is the time on WKYT this morning. Good to have you along. I know a lot of you are getting ready to get in the car and start out on that trek yeah, to work well, when you're getting, school. When you're getting ready, of course, <laughs> pack an umbrella and a rain slicker, poncho, what have you, you know, Line whatever you traffic. decide to use. Broadway and High Street looking pretty good. It is, and uh, we have no reports of any early issues this morning of the uh, construction projects you're probably well aware of now that are continuing. The one uh, road closure that uh, we do know about in the region uh, that is continuing there is U.S. 25 in Madison County between Boonesboro and the northern Richmond city limits. Uh, that was due to the uh, washout from the flooding of Friday, and then they're trying to do the work uh, still at New Circle. Yeah, and 
some in some cases drivers stopped for 15 minutes at a time. So if you can avoid that area, that starts at nine this morning and goes till two in the afternoon. It's best to not get stuck out there in a right. situation like that. You yeah, know? you don't want that, <laughs> especially in the rain. Yeah. Yucky. Wednesday on WKYT this morning. Good to have you along. We have a lot more news coming right up. One couple is going to have a whopper of a wedding. Find out why one burger chain is so interested in helping this couple tie the knot. And we're looking across the region, not seeing much go on this morning, but as we get into the afternoon and off into the evening, here come more storms. Go over your latest forecast coming up next.